Good day guys, Austin here, and this is a quick one to be honest, it's kind of more help than any kind of guide. Um, some of you lot have been getting tied under with all kinds of errors and emulators not working and schnizzle like that to be honest. It's, it's not your fault, often it's shit that isn't included with the emulator, but they expect you to have a standard on your system pre-installed already kind of thing and to be honest if you've been using your computer to play kind of games and emulators throughout the years or months or days or whatever it is you've had whatever how long you've had your computer then you know you probably will have most of these already installed but as a backup let's actually have a look at some of the things that you should have on your computer already installed before you start fucking around with emulators otherwise you're gonna have no end of trouble now bear in mind um, some of these actual programs or drivers or installs are actually um, system specific so um, I don't know first off you're gonna need either the 64-bit version or the 32-bit version some of them are only unique to certain things like I don't know uh, video drivers to Nvidia video drivers to ATI you know, you're gonna have to figure that shit out yourself to be honest I'm not here to wipe your ass guys um, so yeah, let's actually look at some of the things that you should be needing uh, to get you set up. And as always, links below to guide you in the right kind of direction if you need to be finding these kind of things. Right then, so first off then, uh, you're going to need the 7-zip program. Um, it comes as standard to be honest, I think nowadays with uh, Rocket Launcher or Hyper Launcher, I'm not sure. But you're going to need it installed on your computer anyway. I know you've probably got WinZip or WinRAR and all that kind of shit. But sometimes if you cross-contaminate, um, I don't know, say if someone zips something up on 7-zip and they use a certain, um, I don't know, algorithm, whatever it is, to compress, and then you use a WinRAR or something similar to decompress, then you can have errors on your decompression or uncompression or whatever the fuck you call it. So bear that in mind. It's always best if you can tell that it's a RAR, you know, compressed file or a 7-zip compressed file, so on and so forth, then try your best to use that program to unzip it. The most familiar one nowadays, especially with um, emulators, is the 7-zip program. So ensure you've got that up and running so you're ready to rumble when you come to actually, you know, decompressing your shit. Okay, next thing is DirectX 9. Now, DirectX, yes. I'm sure you've got an up-to-date computer, I'm sure it's all singing, all fucking dancing, and you can run, I don't know, fucking Crisis on ultra massive fucking settings at 4K thousand fucking resolution. However, you still need DirectX 9 installing. It doesn't matter what version you've already got installed, it doesn't install DirectX 9 as standard unless you've already installed a game which uses it also. It's a completely different install, so make sure if you haven't already, go to the link below that we talked about and install your DirectX 9. It's needed. It's needed in probably 90% of all the emulators that you're going to be using. And without it, it doesn't tell you that you actually need. I mean, when you run the emulator or you try to run a game or something, it doesn't actually say, oh, you need DirectX 9. It'll come up with some stupid fucking errors, normally, that you need some kind of DLL file. So, yeah, that's your next one. Okay, next one after that in priority is probably your graphics drivers. Ensure that you find out what kind of graphics card if you've got a card or if it's on board or whatever ensure that you go to the relevant website whether it be nvidia or ati or whatever it is fucked up gpu you've got go to that website and download the most up-to-date drivers that you can find unless you know that specifically they're giving you grief or you've got something else running that requires a certain setting then yeah i'll give you the benefit of the doubt but you are going to need the latest drivers. To be honest, it's common sense. It gets everything running as smoothly as possible. Okay, now on to the more um, nitty gritty of the bunch, to be honest. Um, Java. I don't know. No one ever fucking uses it. And it's a fucking pain in the ass. I hate it myself. Basically, every fucking day there's a Java update. It doesn't do fuck all. I don't actually know what Java does, but I do. But. I don't understand why the program needs to be fucking updated every day and then it gives me grief and pop-ups every fucking day when in reality it doesn't bring me much to my table. But you do need it installed and you would need it up to date to run a lot of the newer stuff. 
Okay, enough said about that one. Next one then is Net Framework. Uh, yeah, just install it. Links below. Get it installed. It's done then. You forget all about it. You don't even remember that it's installed on your PC. And uh, next one, Visual Studio. Yeah, whatever. Again, just install the fucker. I'm not even going to bring it up in conversation. But again, some emulators will need it. And next one then is a random fucker, but it does pop up with problems every so often. Is OpenAL. Basically, it's the sound shit. Just download it and install. Now, when you're doing things like the net framework and stuff like that, ensure that you install all the versions that you can possibly have installed on your computer. You know, don't hold back. If you see installs, install that fucker. Especially when they come from places like web, uh, Microsoft and stuff like that. They're not giving them to you to cause you grief. They're giving them to you to actually sort your computer out. And like I said, a lot of these emulators and retro games and things like that, they require this stuff because it's looking for them on your computer. Things will run a lot smoother, you won't get no errors, and you'll be up and running without any issues. I know it's a long and tedious process, but once you get all the shit installed, you'll be all over it. Trust me. Okay then guys, well I'm going to leave you now, and happy gaming. Uh, drop me a line, as always, if you've got anything, concerns, or pressing opinions, or I don't know, love life. <laughs> <laughs> but I hope this has helped you to give you a starting block to get all your systems up and running and supply you with less errors and give me less of a headache. I don't mind your messages coming in, but it's usually something Billy Basics is this. So thanks a lot guys, I'll catch you later. Make sure you subscribe, like, share, all the same shit that people do on YouTube and I will catch you later. Bye.